Coming from this direction. You said he's been doing this for years. Now he said he had two friends waiting around the corner to stomp me. Yo, this guy threatened me multiple times. I have it on camera. Stay away from me, thug. I'm not doing anything. He threatened me multiple times. He charged at me. I got it all on film. Sure. 
How's it going? Do you want to be a victim of disorderly conduct? I don't want this guy attacking me. That's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking if you want to be a victim of disorderly conduct. That sounds like a threat. Kyle? What are you talking about? You, do you, I can't be a victim of disorderly conduct. If somebody Only, threatens listen, me, listen. they're supposed to be arrested under New Hampshire statute. I have it on film. But here's the deal. I can't arrest him unless you want to be a victim. Okay, I never said I wouldn't be. You, I just asked, do you want to be a victim of disorderly conduct? Then you said to me, I want to is be that a threat? Oh, I thought you meant you were going to arrest me for arrest disorderly you? conduct for yelling at this guy. Well, wherever he's going. Garrett, can you do yourself a favor and, or do us a favor um, and just go the other way? All right, so I have evidence of misdemeanor criminal threatening on multiple counts. I have him charging at me. I have him telling me he's going to kick my ass, bash my head in. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys are letting him walk away. I mean... I just asked him if he wanted to be a victim and he told me that I was threatening I thought you meant, you said or you want to be a victim of disorderly conduct. I yes. thought you meant like you were telling me I was doing is disorderly that, conduct. Is that I'm what sorry. you're looking to do? <laughs> no. Down. No, I... Do you want to be a victim? Yes, th this guy attacked Garrett, me and my friend the other do you day. Want to, do you, are you Garrett, looking to be a victim? Yes, or, yes, or, I have the evidence. I'll give it okay. to you. Prosecute the guy. So, so do me a favor. Uh, burn that and send it over to me. I'll review that. I'll take a look at it and then we'll do a warrant if, uh, if, it, if it's applicable. Okay? okay, this happened two days ago with this guy too. He attacked my friend. He so, punched her in the face. So, like, so document that we know, all for me. We and so we, saw we, saw we saw that. We know, right? We're aware of that. It just seems but crazy. I, the thing is, I've been out here like, I don't know how long, like 20 minutes. And I was like, this guy's crazy. Someone call the police. I mean, it's a misdemeanor that didn't happen in our presence okay so so with with your video send us a copy of what you got all right i'll take a look at it and if it, if it meets the criteria then i'll do a warrant okay okay sound good so what's everyone's names here just in case matt griffin kyle macy i'm sorry i don't know your name what was your first name please christina thank you christina uh, when can i expect that within an hour, within an hour? i'll be down the station okay you can put it on a cd or dvd on a, on a little flash okay perfect I'm sorry about that, Kyle. I thought you were saying like I was committing disorderly conduct by the way no, I, I we, just sounded the statu like you were the saying. The statute reads that we can't be a victim of disorderly conduct, right? So if somebody's screaming at me, calling me every name in the book, I can't be a victim of that. But you if, can arrest if, someone for it pretty no, easily. You, you can be like, this area is closed, disorderly conduct arrest. That, that's, that's, no, at the same time, you have, to, you have to understand that you can't incite the person for disorderly conduct. I just filmed the guy. He then started following me and telling me he was going to get me and stuff and that I can't film him. And I know that I have every right to film someone, especially if they're threatening me. If they're threatening me, I'm going to film them nonstop because they pose a danger to me and a danger to others. That guy poses a danger to others and I'm concerned that something will happen in the time between this because of what happened last time, what happened again. What happened this time? This crazy guy is chasing me, telling me he's gonna kick my ass, bash my head in. I'm filming, I'm like, stay the fuck away from me. It's like going on for 20 minutes. And this happened the other day, he punched my friend in the face like multiple times and the cops didn't arrest him then. They were like, oh, we'll check the video and get a warrant if we need to. And I was like, in the meantime, he's gonna do something. He's been threatening us like crazy. Like he just snapped or something, clearly. But yeah, the KPD, they're like, well, it didn't happen in our prison, so we'll have to check it out. Like, this guy needs to be controlled, man. He's a danger. His name's uh, Warren William Wilbur. And he's, uh, I think he's like 54 years old. He lives in Keene. I see him walking around all the time. He's got white hair. Uh, he's a homeless dude, I think. And yeah, the other day he snapped. Sometimes. I think he often has a tan jacket on, like kind of similar to this one. White oh, yep. hair, white beard, white mustache. He's not homeless. No, he doesn't have a mustache. Oh. Alright, so I'm concerned that the guy might come back after me or something. I don't know which direction he went down Marlboro Street. I'm gonna get to safety and then get the F out of Dodge is what I'm doing.